you get to decide right now, whatever it is that you're resisting, right? Whatever it is in your life that's coming up against your goals right now. How willing are you to persevere? How willing are you to push against the resistance? Hello, beautiful mommy millionaires. All right, we're having a mommy millionaire minute. And this is your reminder that success is a personal decision. It's a personal decision that you make. You have to decide right now, are you willing? Are you willing to be rejected? Are you willing to persevere? Are you prepared for the moment of success? And you might say yes to all of those questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I want you to be like, you can lie, right? You can be like, yeah, I'm ready. But if you really think about it, are you actually ready? You know, just in the last 10 weeks alone, I've experienced so much rejection building out my real estate fund. You know, it's like, I think I have the best offer. I'm like, yes, this is so amazing. Everybody's going to say yes. And about 10% of people are saying yes. And the other 90% are like, oh, I have to think about it. Oh, I don't know. It's so scary. It's so risky. And I'm just like, cool. Like, I do not take it personally at all, even though I know that like my offer is incredible, that the opportunity is changing. But I don't take it personal when somebody doesn't see the same vision as me. I just go move on to the next person. But I'll tell you what, if this would have been me 12 years ago, I wouldn't have been able to handle all of the no's I just got. (laughs) I wouldn't have been able to handle it. Because 12 years ago, I took the word no personally. I thought, hey, if you don't want to buy protein shakes, if you don't want to buy my cleanse, that means you hate me. That means you don't believe in me. When in actuality, those girls just wanted to eat. You know what I mean? They, they're like, I don't want to starve myself for 48 hours. No, thank you. Love you, Kayla, but no, thank you. <laughs> now, looking back, I could see that. And that's why I think it's so beautiful how, you know, success isn't linear and you go on a certain journey, reach certain levels of success, and then go to another level of success. Because if you could see where you're going to end up in your life, you wouldn't be ready for it to be handed to you right now in this very moment, because there's more you've got to refine, right? I had to get it out that rejection was not personal, that no didn't mean forever, right? No was just a temporary thing. And I had to get that out of my system. Took me a few years, but now I am unstoppable when it comes to sales because you could tell me no 10 different ways and I'm gonna find another way to sell it to you. (laughs) That no joke happened to me. I was closing out my fund. I needed $250,000 left. And it was like, I'm not even joking you. I had 10 hours left to find this $250,000. And one person in particular had told me no six times. Okay. (laughs) And I'm like, I'm, I'm like finding so many different ways. And I finally go, you know what? What does it hurt to lose? All she could do is tell me no. So I come back with her. Hey, we're closing up really great opportunity because now, you know, at first I had had her come in as a mil at a million dollars. And that's what I wanted her to invest. She said, no, 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 no. Six times. Then I said, Hey, we only have 250,000 left to fund. I wanted you to be the first person to know about this opportunity. And you got to make a quick decision because you would literally need to wire me the funds in the morning. Do you want in? I'm not joking you within 30 seconds. She texts back and says, yes, I'll wire the money in the morning. Send me everything. Dude, I'm on it on my email. (laughs) Send it off. She wires the money in the morning, $250,000. And I still look back. What if I would have just gotten in my head you know, and said, no, I've already asked her six times. 
She's not, what, what's it going to take on the seventh time? There's no way she's going to say yes. If I would have entertained that and been like mad that she had told me no six times, I wouldn't be owning a 192 unit complex right now from that, from that ask. But I had that perseverance. I was willing to persevere through the rejection and I was ready. I was ready. I was like, yes, I know that this is going to be life-changing for both of us. Do it. Right. And so I was ready for the success that came with it because of the years and years and years of the nose, the years of different sales techniques, and honestly, my energy, right? My energy is so important. I, I know how to manage it, right? Because it's like, if I am feeling good, if I'm feeling confident about the offer, about myself, and those two combined, whoo, I'm a magnet for people. If one of those are off, people can feel it. I'm not saying that those were off the first six times because you're always dealing with people as well. Might not be the right time for them, but it just happened to be perfect circumstances. The seventh time was a charm for me in that moment. And I want to take it back to why we started this podcast. Success is a personal decision. I chose to be successful in this deal. There was no if, ands, or buts around it. I was going to make it happen. And I remember telling my husband, Chase, when it was hard, I mean, I was literally crying myself to sleep because I was so stressed. I, we're going to make this happen. Oh my gosh, I got to make this happen. You know, he's like, Kayla, you don't have to do this. Why are you putting so much pressure on yourself? Nobody, nobody does this, you know, with their first fund comes out of the gate and does what you have set out to do. And I was like, I don't care what anybody else has done. This is what I decided I was going to do and I'm going to do it. You've got to have that type of resolve, that type of commitment to your success. Most people give up. There were so many times, I can't even tell you the stories. There are so many times where the old me would have given up. The old me would have thrown in the towel and said, you know what, this, too, too much resistance. It's not meant to be. Do it at another time. Not at Christmas time when everybody's spending their money on Christmas presents. You know, that could have been step one. Make me out of the game. But no, I was committed. We were funding this thing. It was going to happen before Christmas Day. We were funding this deal. And I'm so freaking proud of that girl that I was in that moment that I decided I was going to do this. And you get to decide right now, whatever it is that you're resisting, right? Whatever it is in your life that's coming up against your goals right now. How willing are you to persevere? How willing are you to push against the resistance? To say, no matter what, I am going to get what I want, no matter what, no matter what people tell me, no matter what the circumstances say, no matter how I feel right now in the very moment, I am committed to making this happen, to seeing this goal through. If you have that level of resolve, watch out world. And I know you're a mommy millionaire listening in right now. You probably have that level of resolve, right? You're like, whatever it takes, I'm going to do it. Who do I need to talk to? Who do I need to meet? What story do I need to sell myself right now to get myself back in the game and win this thing? Ask yourself better questions and you'll get better results. When I think about success, it's like, you know, people could look at my life and say, wow, you've done a lot. And I look at my life and say, that was a warm up. That was, that was a practice season. Okay. For what I'm about to do. Cause I'm about to blow my own mind. And I love it because I don't talk about three fourths of the things I have going on in my life right now, because I'm building in silence and I am so committed to making this happen to prove to myself that I can do it. I don't care if anybody else knows. I don't care about the accolades. I don't care about the recognition for everybody else knowing it. It's the success I promised to me. It's the success I promised to my little girl inside of me that grew up in a chaotic home on welfare, you know, and raised by a single mom, the one that she knew that was not her life. Like 
that I think about that eight year old little Kayla and she knew that whoo, I could feel her right now. She knew that that life, that part of her life was temporary and she had a big vision for herself and she didn't let those circumstances, those people, those naysayers in her world at the moment, at that time, in junior high, in high school, and in college, she didn't let them get to her. She did not let them get to her. That's why I am where I am today. So be proud of the fact that you're listening to this podcast right now. There could be 10 other things that you decided to put in your ears right now, but you said, you know what? I am my best investment. I'm gonna invest in myself right now. I'm gonna deposit some soul food into my success so that way I can get in the game and win. So this is your reminder, make the decision right now. Success is on my way. Success is inevitable, duh. That is a part of the plan for me. I'm going to win this game. I hope you love this mommy millionaire. Ended up being 10 minutes. Leave a review of this episode if you loved it. Send me over some questions over on Instagram at Kayla.craft and we'll see you soon.